really like when producers go that extra mile and match that unique vibe by tweaking and changing the drums to make them unique as well. So like what are the pros and cons of going uh, with the same drum presets every time, for example? You know, it helps you crank them out as a producer, no question there. Um, and that can be, you know, sometimes that's all you need to do. Uh, standard trap drum, drums have definitely been around for some time now. So, you know, this is totally subjective, but the drums were a little underwhelming to me, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, now, it's a bit harsh because there's really nothing wrong here. Uh, someone could definitely make a great song to this. This could be a hit song. And I've heard a lot of, uh, or at least several beats from this artist, man, and that tends to be my, my feedback as well. N none of these tracks are lacking to the point where they can't be fantastic, okay? Um, but if you had a whole beat tape, you know, how much diversity is there in your percussion is a question. You know, it's interesting. A lot of rappers need to practice on just like knocking out tracks like we were talking about with Clay did it. Um, but a lot of producers need to almost sometimes do the opposite. You need to focus more on maximizing your beat and not moving on until you've done as much as you possibly can or at least being open to returning to it. That's a good question. How much are we okay to return to work after the fact? Uh, some of the best artists learn to be okay with it even though you're not in that vibe no more. Um, you know, but... It, it depends what stage of development you're at for sure because you know you can still do the Kanye three beats a day for three summers type shit if you're just learning you know and uh, you know for, anyways for me for a lot of times what's apparent to artists to producers who are just cranking shit out is the lack of structure the lack of changes the lack of arrangements 